Now, Snapchat to many of us is just pure social media fun, an app that lets you muck about with photos and share with your mates. But it wants to step away from that world where rivals Facebook and Twitter are under attack for their negative impact on society for cyberbullying, for example, or privacy breaches. It wants to be a communications platform. So says Claire Velotti, who snaps Vice President International and Claire joins us now. Welcome, Claire. Why does um, most of us think about Snapchat as a social media platform? Why are you keen to suggest it's it's, it's something different? Essentially, it is something different. Uh, when Evan and Bobby founded the company over eight years ago, it was really built about being about the fastest way to communicate to your real friends, and that was really important. And that's why you'll hear us talk about being a camera company. We opened to the camera because what we found is people are using visual communication to talk. It's the fastest way to communicate. So really, the premise of the whole platform is all about just talking to your real friends. It's not about you as an organisation trying to avoid this kind of world of social media labelling where these companies are now under a lot of scrutiny and being looked at in terms of what they do with data, the privacy issue, security, all that. Well, when you think they founded it, uh, like I said, eight years ago when social media existed and for them it was really about being escaped from social media. They wanted to create a platform that people were just talking to their real friends rather than creating an environment which was about kind of suppose, broadcasting more your kind of life. It was more about just having that one to one or one to few communication with people that you really deem to be close friends. But you still must have the same challenges as, as the Facebooks, as the, the Twitters of this world when it comes to limiting harmful content and, 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 and things like that. At Snap, you know, clearly uh, the safety of our users is, is the most important thing and that's what we always focus on. I think the one thing that from the premise which, which absolutely helped us on the platform was that our messages delete by default because they felt if it was going to be really a natural conversation with your real friends, if it was recorded and you knew it stayed there forever, it would change what you said to each other. So as a result, everything that you're talking about in the, in the messaging side deletes by default, which means, you know, we're not keeping um, a lot of information about people. On top of that, there's no public profiles. There's no profiles of people. You have to be friends with someone in order to communicate with them. But also the fact that it all just deletes and it disappears means that there is no evidence, there's no history there, and somebody can get away with horrible or nasty behavior. It's just disappearing. I think when we talk about, obviously we talk about the messaging side of that, there's another side to it as well, which is more content led, but no different to kind of what you see, you know, in UK law, that a telephone call or a letter, you know, we have to respect people's privacy in one-to-one -one conversations. And, and that's very much the thinking behind um, how the, um, the, the messages delete. So you're calling yourself a, a camera company now, and you do actually make a type of camera. It's a camera that's built into, into a pair of spectacles uh, for people to have fun in whatever way they want to do with that. Um, how is that going? And are you talking, thinking about launching other camera products? Well, initially, actually, I will, I'll touch on spectacles, but first I would touch on the fact that, you know, Snapchat as an app is a camera app. It opens to the camera. And just to give you an interesting stat, three and a half billion snaps are taken every day through the Snapchat camera. That's more images than probably all the cameras in the world. So I think before even we get to spectacles, we've got a great, uh, a lot of experience in creating kind of camera. Um, spectacles um, is doing really well in the sense, the whole purpose of spectacles is really about creating kind of a public research and development program. It was about putting the uh, product into people's hands in the real world to see how it would go. And I think a lot of people have focused on how it's going in terms of sales. And that was never our objective. It was all about learning because we believe, you know, in our vision, there's going to be a time where, you know, augmented reality is scaling and we believe it will be in wearables. You're now listed on financial markets, a massive flotation. We covered the story. It was a big deal. Uh, shares were around $27 at the float. They're a lot lower. Your shareholders want you to make profits and more and more money. How will you monetize Snapchat more? How are you going to get money out of the users? We're really pleased with how things are going. Um, if you just look at our revenue from advertising revenue, and um, I just look at my international business uh, in the last earnings, we grew 51% year on year. We still believe there's headroom where we've got, still got a, lot, a long way to go on that growth. And of course, it's also about driving efficiencies in the company and having the whole company behind profitability, which we are. So we're feeling um, really positive in terms of how we're, we're making progress. Okay, Claire Velotti from Snap, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Now, from one.